Yeah, it makes you feel bad. Um, yeah. It's going to certainly take the wind out of your sails a little bit, not getting, uh, pretty much knowing yeah, they're locked out of, of top four now, and they're just really fighting for one of those fifth or sixth playoff positions. And here up against Atletico, if they really want to go anywhere, um, it's a must win for Ground Zero here today. It is indeed. I think uh, most people will think that uh, Ground Zero should have this match, but Atletico... Let's see what they can do. Have surprised us before. Yeah, the one they're going to surprise us, as you said, with those snow goats. They may be coming out here for Zol. See, they can make the most, but they're at least on the point. That's where you want to be, right? You need to force them on and put up that wall. They kind of half do it. Mm. Uh, I don't know if they're going to be able to follow up with the damage. <laughs> However, particularly when you go into the cryo freeze, but the capture will go across to Atletico, and now with the wall That's... up, a few three percentage okay. points here. <laughs> For Atletico. Yeah, interesting use there. Um, opting to just, as you say, try and get a couple of free percentage points instead of actually just waiting and locking someone off to get the guaranteed kills like yep. failed to do the first time. As a result, when they do get through, it's a resounding win for Ground Zero Gaming. They'll, they'll switch that across nice and quickly and only 20% for Atletico, a little bit of cheese. I mean, I, yeah, no, you know what? I'm I, On this map especially, I'm calling, I'm calling it a little bit of cheese. Is a little bit. Let's see if they can actually make the most of it. Uh, the rest uh, of the uh, the rest of the players are quite even. I mean, you look at that. There's uh, there's ultimates coming up across the board here, and as let Atletico move in again, oh! they're going to have a blizzard. That earth shatter comes through, but gets countered by the fact that the wall comes up underneath Super cool. him. The blizzard comes out from Atletico as well, and that's going to be enough uh, to pick up the fight and that was uh, huge plays coming out from May. Now I'm not necessarily sure if the intention was to put the Reinhardt on top of the wall or just to split <laughs> the Reinhardt from the rest of the team. Look, if he's heard the if he's heard the uh, Earth Shadow call and then reacted to it, uh, that's amazing. I I think that's I mean, yeah. that is a legit play and as a result, um, Atletico back in control of this point. They get hit off the high ground though, but they're happy to be on the point. That's where May comes into her own on village. Yeah, pretty useless uh, anywhere else, to be perfectly honest, short of really thick walls that counter Earth Shatters. Uh, but you're not going to get to do that all of the time. Rally oh. is Pop Locus, kind of gets caught out, but gets around the wall nice and quick. Self-destruct with the grab into the thick of things as well. No one going to get picked up by that Goobs. Pops a Transcendence now for, throws out the Earth Shatter. Jungle Jazz counters with the sound barrier. Dows is sitting on the Transcendence. At this point, you go, surely Ground Zero wins this fight from here. With a massive Earth Shatter 5, I think, we're on the floor there. And wow, Ground Zero are there to help out Bus. He lays them down. They finish them off. It's a wham-bam combo. 38% now for Ground Zero Gaming. They are going to reset to the high ground. And from here, you question, do they stay on the May? Are you better off having the Diva to try and mitigate some of that damage? Yeah. All the other um, you know, advantages that having that off tank on the field affords you. As they come up the top, it's going to be very tough for her to build up that next blizzard. I guess the one thing Atletico has in their favor is that they're a little bit ahead on ultimate charge. and They only need to win probably one and a half fights here to get themselves uh, around victory. Atar sitting on the grab. Ada does not have the benefit of not, not having to go up against that diva like Locus does. And Locus is going to have a grab of his own available now. So again, the longer this takes, for Atletico, the more difficult it is, but they have so many ultimates to work with. Earth Shatter comes through, Grab comes through, Transcendence comes through, Rally comes through, Four still sitting on this Earth Shatter. Dow's still about to get a Transcendence, but I don't think it really matters. They're going to try and probably get, what, 95% here. It'll go back to Atletico. Ground Zero going to have one more fight to swap it back across. Maybe they can do it, maybe not. Trying to use that wall there to... Do Get some of the respawns uh, and Dalsu, I, uh, I mean, I guess he decides that they need to stay alive here. They don't have time to reset and respawn. Um, either that or a fat finger. Regardless, he's, uh, I think he might have kept, maybe it was Bus uh, alive there, just trying to get back onto the point. They do, they get there in time. Perhaps it's worth it. Yeah, look, this could be what Elfish Guy would call uh, BB plays. Um, you can make, make that what you want. But Oily's found two. And this is going to be Ground Zero swapping it back. They stop uh, the capture at 99%. And now, very real opportunity here for them to, uh, to make this theirs. Easy done. No one near the point. I seriously want to know, did that transcendence, was that transcendence from Dalsu 
intentional. I think it was. I think that was a wrinkly brain play. It really was. He uh, he he realized. He looked at the the percentages, calculated it, said, "We are not going to get back if I die here." Or I, perhaps I think it was there was a team member he was trying to save mm. as well because you saw how aggressive. Um, that Atletico were being, they were, they, right all, they were also calculating and say, hey, if we get a respawn here, we've mm. won the round. Yep. But they don't get it. Uh, and luckily, I, I think the lucky part is that they didn't need the Transcendence going forward into the fight well, that's it, to right. survive. And Ata gets picked out of that also, and all of a sudden, mm. uh, they're down there, Zarya. And as you know, that's a, a minus 5 trillion percent chance of winning a fight if you don't have a Zarya. Yep. And your opponents do. So uh, All statisticians say that. Yeah, yeah and, and that's where we are now going to head across to Shrine. Yep, Shrine, uh, a very strong Goat's Point. You rarely see anything other than the Rhine coming out here, and the Rhine, oof, four barely managing to stay alive. They're having to seed a lot of ground just to wait for those passive reheals from from uh, his Lucio. Yeah, Oily looking to be the first to go down. It's actually going to be four in D-Field. They managed to turn it around just in the nick of time, plus the heals coming out to the Diva now going to put them in a prime position to pick up the point going forward and Atletico again on the back foot. Yeah, fantastic work from Jewboy there. If you really just watch him um, helping to create space for his team, he seemed to be doing a lot more damage, um, whipping that flail around and it just it just allowed for that extra maybe 30-40% health off the main tank and from there Ground Zero start taking the space and collapse in upon Atletico. Zola in a good position for uh, potentially uh, an unexpected self-destruct. We'll see if that plays out or not. Throws it through, tries to get to the back line. Urshader comes through also wow. here from Bath. Uh, but again, it's going to be Ground Zero coming out with the picks. I thought maybe that Diva self-destruct was going to be in a good spot. Unfortunately, that was not the case. And now up to 40% Ground Zero going to be sitting on five ultimates going into this next fight. Man, Bust is just is such a superlative, Ryan. And it's such an important ultimate sometimes because if you get a really good earth shutter it can save you one or two extra you don't have to follow up with the grab you don't have to follow up with the self-destruct because you can just get the straight up follow-up kills and now uh, especially the fact that they're sitting on 60 percent here on the point means that this control is looking very dire for atletico already and this is the only game mode they have ever won all season Grab comes through, self-destruct available and used there by Oily. Goops with the transcendence, no one goes down. This time to the Diva Bomb. Still Dousel and Jungle Jazz sitting on their support ultimates. And look, Atletico might find themselves with an Earth Shatter, but I don't know if it's going to be enough here. Defield down. They did well to keep the rest of the team alive. Four get Shield Bash. I don't think he's going to get his Shatter out. Probably didn't want to use it. But they are running out of time. This is about to be a 100-0. Yeah, we're just seeing again and again in these frontline fights, four cannot sustain any kind of health. And when you're in that sort of 20-30% range where you've only got that as the Reinhardt, you can't be aggressive. You can't go forward, you can't charge, you can't swing your hammer, you can't yep. build up your Earth Shatter faster. There's just all these flow-on effects from that, Ben. And that really sees Ground Zero taking that first map here. And as I just pointed out, that is the only map type that Atletico has won all season. They've taken two controls. They are yet to win an assault. They are yet to win a hybrid, and they are yet to win an escort. So there are some serious trends that they're going to have to buck in this series yet to turn to it match, around from now on. Unfortunately, and I don't know if today is going to be a different story. If they if they are going to come back and they are going to find themselves a match today, there was that was that, that big play. It was with Bus throwing out the. Uh, the Shatter and the Maywall coming through. But literally everything after that. Look, to be fair, oh, to be fair, shot. Village could have gone either way. and uh, It was very close, yes. We saw some big plays out of Ath, but unfortunately for them, Ground Zero's plays were just that little bit bigger. Yeah, you know, uh, apart from that one really cool wall where he, uh, he, he blocked the Shatter, um, the rest of them weren't on point, right? Yeah. Because it's, it's whoever designed Village was obviously was obviously a May lover, right? Because the the opening into that point, into the control point, is like almost exactly the size of a May wall. So if you get it right, mm. you can block off the entire thing. The team's never going to be on both sides, not in a composition like Ghost. They're not going to be out of yeah. like, oh, that's fine if like one or two of us got knocked in, we'll just come in from the other side and shoot you. No, that's not how Ghost works. You have to stay on the same side together. And if you lock it off fully, you can just get a free kill or two. But every single time he left a gap in the wall and you saw 
them stream in through the other side. Grabs coming out, um, all these kind of things that could have been stopped um, yep. had he been on point with those. Fortunately, you cannot leave a gap in the wall. We know that you need to build it the whole way across, otherwise it doesn't work at all. Otherwise, the ice dragon flies through. I mean, no, yeah. Yeah, exactly. All right, that's going to be a whole other story. Soon, soon. Blizzard World coming up next, though. And uh, look, uh, the thing is, kind of feels like so far, short of playing uh, what you would describe as cheese. I'm not going to go that, that far, <laughs> Gino, but I'm going to allow you to say it. What okay. you would describe as cheese uh, was as close as Atletico got. But when it went... Uh, Goats v. Goats, it was a different story and mm. a, a very convincing story win there. Slightly cheesy. Zero. It was like a it was like a bar not a barbecue shape. It was like a shape with a with like some cheese flavouring on right. it. Maybe. It, it's not like a full Wensleydale. Right. Kind of like shake of fries. Yeah. But not a sure. true cheeseburger. Mm. Alright. Yeah. I, I get ya, I get ya. You can go for both of those right now. Okay, Atletico coming out here. They do fire, like mate. the Sombra Pharmacy combo. Um, you know, it's the uh, support players, of course, they're happy to get a little bit of variety in their lives. Play a bit of Mercy, play a bit of Anna. Yep. Show off their skills on those. But uh, Ground Zero do have the Winston to contest this. People are going to get out of dodge. And as Atletico do try and make their way onto the point, Ground Zero will start contesting. And Daosu somehow manages to find the main tank here for Atletico. As a result, Atletico are going to have to fall back and Ground Zero can go back and hide in the canteen. <laughs> yes, the uh, the refuge of, of many a hungry boy. Now, Atletico, they're all the way back here. We see Atar just trying to plug in some, some rockets here. He's got his barrage up, essentially. Uh, and can he find a good spot to use that in the next fight? will be so important. Um, if he gets close enough, he might even be able to do enough damage to pull through Dalsu's Transcendence. We see them push back here, trying to hide in Snaxaramus, but Ground Zero, they've uh, they've held them off once already. Can they do it again? We'll have to wait and see. Deep field only up to 57%, needs yeah, more. It's very slow on that AMP. Yeah. Atar lurking <laughs> above the entrance, <laughs> waiting for the rest of the team, trying to bait them out with someone on the point. Oh, Jungle Jazz tries to enough. get back inside. Will not occur. D field also finds Dalsu and uh, Atletico will be able to find themselves objective A. Yeah, honestly, uh, uh, no, Atletico Ground Zero should have read that a little bit better there. They could have used Oily's Defense Matrix perhaps to shepherd themselves out. Maybe even just throw out uh, a Winston bubble and have some of the others come out the other side through that through that top ground. Either way, they do not read it co correctly, and Atar's little surprise packet for them is a little bit too much. So now they're onto the second point, and again, this is not a bad spot at all to run this Baron. Dalsu, the first one. Down, Locust brings it back. It's a one-for-one one trade on Winston's. The question is, who goes down next? Without that Transcendence, life can be particularly tough here for Ground Zero on defense. Atar sitting back, waiting, firing rockets, and uh, again, already has that rocket barrage available. Dalsu with the right timing could theoretically counter it. Jungle Jazz also going to have the sound barrier. I think the, the main thing for me here, right, is that Ground Zero has these defensive support ultimates that Atletico doesn't really have. They also have the grab, and without the Reinhardt and those support ultimates that you're talking about, um, it's a lot harder to deal oh. with it. Ata gets eliminated as soon as he uses the Rocket Barrage. I don't even know what was going on there. The grab came through from Locus. The team... Picked up one kill. I think it was a single pick from the grab. Only one person fought inside it. And Ata still decides to pop the barrage. But it's a, it's a real weakness of this composition, Ben. You just can't deal with that grab. The only way, uh, really, is to get on the front foot and use that EMP to just stop the follow-up yeah. damage from it. I mean, if Desire's on full charge, maybe you've got no chance anyway. But we see Atletico here. Uh, the rocket barrage, who cares? They don't really need it too much. Ata can do enough damage in the sky just with his with these regular rockets. It's the other abilities that they're going in with now. We see the Primal Rage and yeah. the Nano Boosted Winston. Interesting combo. Yeah, I was waiting for the Nano Rage to come out. It was kind of all they had to work with here. Oily and Zola both gone down to one for one trade, but the payload's not going anywhere. Atletico's not making any ground. They're getting forced back. Deep Field does have this uh, EMP available, and to be fair, he might hit a couple, but. He needs everyone Maybe, else alive, right? Yeah, look, it's an interesting combo. You know, obviously, you're not doing a lot of damage as Primal Rage Winston, so putting the Nano Boost on top of it is essentially only there for the increased survivability. But hey, why not just jump in 
um, and then do that afterwards. Deepfield does get a hack off in the back line, but this EMP is what this is really for. Perhaps the uh, the Primal Rage last fight was just to try and draw some of those ultimates out from ground zero because Atletico are struggling to get anywhere here on this second point. Yeah, it has not been a good day so far for Atletico. Locust goes down, so this is the opening that the Ash team needed. They'll get back onto the payload, theoretically, get this movie again. Nope. Atar <laughs> waiting for something, hits his Q, but he goes down. Zola's gone down as well, getting out DPS there by Dow to the aim support. And well, again, Ground Zero been holding this. They have been wasting a lot of Atletico's time, which to be fair, they needed to do because uh, point A really did not go in their favor, but this second phase has been an entirely different story. Atar just too slow on the draw there. You saw him looking, he's like looking at the door, like, w w where's the other couple? I, I need more to come through. And he was just too late on the rotation. He doesn't catch them off. As a result, no kills and uh, goes down himself. Finally, they've decided it's not working out. They can't find the angles with this Farah Ground Zero playing a little bit too smart on that front, so they are going to switch Ata across onto the Zarya. Not his best character, but one you need to be able to play in his position in this meta. Nano Boost available here as well for Goobs. You see the uh, the grenade coming through, catches a couple, but the Primal Rage from Bust going to make life a little bit more difficult now. Goobs, uh, the, a big target here for Bust, I think. We're always trying to take down this Ana. Goob's doing a bit of work. Grab comes through. Oof. Sound barrier, though, from ground Forced zero. Forced by the grenade. Yeah. Will, uh, was required, but it, it, it doesn't matter, I suppose. They've got so much here to work with. They're still sitting on another three ultis. Even though there are good nades coming out from Goob's, they can't follow it up with any damage. Yeah, too right, Ben. I mean, it was a well-timed sound barrier from Jungle Jazz. The fact that you could draw out an ultimate like that with one, um, you know, ability on cooldown is fantastic yeah. for Goobs. But as you say, the damage across the board not high enough, um, and it's reflected in all of these ultimates. The Ground Zero still have to use them. With 11 seconds left, Atletico coming in off the back of this. They need a big Earth Shutter. Maybe even this sound barrier from Eevee can allow them to get a little bit aggressive. They need something. They need to, to I guess, please let's get through phase B. I'd like to see that. Uh, sound barrier to start things off, as you said, the aggressive sound barrier going to make it a little bit easier to engage. Oily with the self-destruct won't find anyone. Now Dowsu has also used that transcendence. Atletico find themselves finally in a favorable position. But Free shot up. goes down. And the shatter's just still sitting here for four. And uh, maybe he doesn't need to waste it. No, they do want to hold on to it. Actually, he uses it and just eliminates the baby diva instantly. Uh, I agree with sure. you. They definitely could have held on to that. I think he was just like, oh, well, if they stall this out for a little bit more, the respawns will probably come through and I'll yeah. have to use it. He says, maybe if we can get through this fast enough, we don't even have to worry about that. That is the case. They finally clinch point two and now ground zero have got one more point to defend and they only need to do it for a minute and 15 seconds. If they struggle as much as our two teams did earlier today, Ben, um, that shouldn't be an issue whatsoever. Yeah, look, the thing is, right, uh, on hybrid, you do not get much extra time on the clock when you get to the third phase. Yeah, only a minute and a half. Yeah, so uh, it's barely enough time to make it through. You, you, at some point, probably going to head into overtime. You're going to run out of time, Bank. Goob's going to pop the trans, but Ground Zero has so much more to work with. That grab comes out, the trans will subside. What? The damage should come through. Dfield and Eevee go down. Goobs jumps off, as does the rest of the team. Were they outside of the trans? I'm not even sure. I, I don't know, but it looked like some of them who were inside the trance just got melted by some fantastic focus fire there from Ground Zero. I, you know, look, I'd need a replay to be sure, but uh, I think they might have actually out-damaged the trance there. Perhaps a fire strike at the same time as a, a 100 damage uh, Zarya explosive charge. Look, that, that'll hurt you. <laughs> certainly could. Look, uh, Atletico now onto the payload. Ten seconds on the clock and four's gone down. Sound barrier just a little bit too late. Urshatter comes through, hits three. Self-destruct from Zol, but unless it hits everyone, uh, I don't think it is going to be enough here. There's the a final nail in the coffin. Self-destruct from Oily also available. And Atletico going to be caught short here on phase C, 50.93 metres. Yep, they've got enough ults in the bank here to close this last fight out comfortably. Atletico can't make it there. They can't make the full distance in the end, so ground zero. Um, you know, I think that's a, a reasonably 
easy task for them to push up that far, wouldn't you say, Ben? Yeah, well, can, it's funny, right? Because considering how the first objective went, Atletico were in prime position and probably couldn't have gone that much better than it did. I think they, yeah, I think they, they, they waited on one the second fight. fight yeah. Second fight was successful. Uh, but that second phase took so long. So long. Forever. L literally more than the rest of the today combined. That's what it felt like to me, Gino. And uh, it, it really cost uh, Atletico. Yeah, they had a lot of stock in that pharmacy combo. They had a lot of stock in the Sombra, perhaps. But uh, they just couldn't make it work every time. ATAR came out, it didn't look like he was just in the right position. They were rotating really damn well. Ground Zero just, um, whether it was they were playing so far away from the the Farah that he couldn't hit consecutive rockets, he couldn't really damage them through the uh, the, the triple heals of Ground Zero. Um, and then they were onto the rest of the team because, of course, that is that weakness. Yep. You know, when you've only got the, the the Winston on the front line, if you can catch him or one of the healers off, perhaps the Anna, she's not that mobile. Boobs was being targeted time and time again. It was mm. really tough, I think. And I don't know, I can't help but feel that maybe they needed to swap to Coates a little bit early, get the first objective. Maybe you try one push, you don't buy much ground, you swap off. I don't know. Couldn't have gone any worse. Yeah, I mean, even a switch onto Sombra Goats, I think, mm. could have been, uh, could have worked out for them as well. Just go, go halfway there, meet them halfway. But, yeah. uh, it's I'll not it. to be. Atletico now. It's their turn to defend. And interestingly, they're actually going to opt for the same... No, sorry, not the same thing on defense. It's the triple DPS. Jewboy on his favored Farah. But I think they're going to see what Atletico's composition is, and they're going to switch off. Yeah, there we go. D Locus on the McCree. That makes sense. If they've got... ATAR coming against them. This McCree is a good option. You often want that. Sometimes the Ash, it just depends on uh, on on what you're looking at. Ash a little yeah. bit better versus Goats. McCree, uh, you know, more able to deal with the Farah. I do like the Ash, and I like that there's a, a little bit more of a, an option these days as well. Four. Going to take a bit of damage. ATAR takes some as well, but it's Dubois and Oily who are low early. ATAR doing quite a bit of work here with the Farah. Oh. Someone needs to deal with this. It's supposed to be Locus, but he hasn't really found himself an opportunity to get free shots <laughs> on. And Well, particularly when Zol comes through like Talk that. Talk about free. Yeah. That's a, that's a free shot into Locus right there. And look, they just took too much damage on the approach there. I think they, I don't think they went through Fargo Deep Mines. I think they actually came up through the center mm. um, thinking that know, maybe they came out. Either way, look, they just took too much damage as soon as they came out. And you really need to be able to push the Pharah back, but the Pharah had free reign that entire time. Didn't have to reset, um, didn't have to fall down and lose lose height to wait for Eevee to heal ATAR up. They just managed to be on top of them the whole time. And as a result, we do see Locus switching off to the Sombra now, so they're going a completely different strategy, and it'll take a while, you would imagine, for Locus to build up this EMP. The question is, how do they intend to deal with ATAR without the McCree? Yes, it did not work. They do need to find something. Dubai, the first one down. That's deep field getting a ton of ultimate charge with that EMP almost ready. You'd expect potentially Bass and Oily to combine to try and deal with the Farah, uh, or potentially you go all the way around and you come back onto the point and, and make the Farah come to you. Whatever it may be, they need to do something because it doesn't matter if Atletico only made two thirds of the way there. If you don't make it through the first objective, you are down. This fight, we see the EMP and the barrage come through, and it is over before it begins. Yeah, this is so hard. Both teams do not have a Zenyatta. It's really important to note that because um, against this EMP, it's really one of the only ways you can outplay it. Zenyatta obviously prefers to be a little bit further back. Mm. Um, that's where he can he can still deal full damage. There's no um, drop off for him, and as a result, he's often out of range of the EMP. Um, you know, doesn't lose his 150 shields. He's very instantly snipeable like that. But also, he can come in clutch with that increased movement speed and transcend the rest of the team once they've been hacked. So this is making it really hard when either team uses the EMP. And if Ground Zero doesn't get through here with this next EMP from Locus, and he's gone down with less than 10% to get there. That's yep. another fight. A minute left. What are they going to do, Ben? They're seriously running out of time. Primal Rage going to come out from four as well. Still committing. Yeah, Ground the Nano Beast has been used by Goob, so it was that Nano Rage. Oh. Oily! <laughs> we see the big plays coming out from the Diva. Will it be enough? The EMP now available for Locus Beautiful as hack. well. 
Dragon Strike comes to as a last ditch effort. Atletico, to be fair, have bought a ton of time here on the first objective, but eventually Ground Zero should be able to get this one through. Yeah, heart in my mouth there, Ground Zero going in, numbers down, they commit to the fight and they actually make it work. Halfway through, that big self to strike by Oily certainly sealed the deal. And Atletico, they're going to be really happy with that, considering they don't have uh, a huge amount. They've Honestly, they've stopped Ground Zero on that first point, just like they were stopped themselves on the second point. They've bled a lot of the time away yep. and given themselves a chance for victory here on Blizzard World. Two and a half minutes for Phase B. Not that much time, uh, particularly when we saw Atletico in this phase. It took them a long time, but Locus comes through with the EMP to kick these off. He finds, I think, maybe three. Zolz the first one down. They fell off with four as well. Now this is a fight that Atletico cannot take. So this is free payload time for Ground Zero. Dfield still hidden in the back line, though. They will be ready uh, to come in with this EMP as soon as the team is back from the respawn chamber. Atar will have that barrage ready as well, so hopefully they can hack the D.Va, make sure the defense matrix isn't an option. They certainly won't have the sound barrier. No, they find two with the EMP, oh. but they need to follow it up with damage, and D.Field goes Most down. Most of that The matrix. sound barrier comes through as that uh, EMP dissipates there on Jungle Jazz. And this is another fight going to ground zero. They have barely been stopped in this phase of the game. Yeah, we saw Atar there. He didn't get, unfortunately, as, as I talked about, they, they couldn't get the D.Va. It's such an important target yep. for that EMP. And now Ground Zero are pushing forward, wasting no time. They want to give themselves a free push into this last phase of the map. Two kills with Bust there from the Primal Rage. That's a good start. Going to swap off, yep. potentially to the Reinhardt. I'm out of here. There we go. That's going to help that payload get moving. And... Uh, as you can hear by the uh, audio cues, we are very close to getting this payload across the line. It does not need to go far at all. Four with the Primal Rage. Locust goes down, self-destruct comes out, won't find any picks. Bust is low, Bust about to get found out also. A lot of this coming on the back of the Primal Rage here from four. And this is a fight win for Atletico. They just need to string another four of those in a row. Yeah, I mean, one of the big things that sets Sombras apart from each other is their ability to be um, their effective uptime, right? Because a lot of the time you're just sneaking through the back, you're not really yeah. doing anything. And Locust tries to max that out a little bit by doing damage in the back line, but he goes too early and doesn't give himself time to build up the EMP. This time he's got it, and it's going to be so hard for Atletico to deal with this with three members hacked. Yeah, as, look, if there's anything here for Atletico, it's that Goobs was able to get the Transcendence, but it doesn't matter. The Trans comes through. As that dissipates, the Earth Shatter comes out. And there's no one there on the payload. Ground Zero come through with another victory. They're now 2 and 0 up against Atletico. They looked a little bit dodgy on defense, but on attack, once they got the ball rolling, it was very difficult for Atletico to stop that payload. Yeah, I mean, that last combo we see the EMP comes through, mm. Shatter follows it up. Five people down to the Shatter. That's exactly what you want to see. You got no shield to put up in front of it. You can't pop down your Winston yep. Bubble, whichever main tank you might be using. Um, it's just such an effective combo. And unless you've got the, the support ultimate to ride that out, there's no coming back. Look, I called out how much I wanted to see the Fara come through, how, you know, uh, it's always exciting. It's always fun times. I can't help Today's a good day. Yeah, Ada had a bit of trouble, though, uh, across. I think it was a little bit tough for my Ada today on the far up. Certainly here on Blizzard World. There were, it was really finding the effectiveness of the ultimate, finding the picks as well. I, I don't know if it was... I don't know if you can blame him. Maybe it was just the team didn't really seem to work with it properly when it needed to. Yeah, you have to do, be doing a ton of damage on that, okay? Not only... Um, does the other team not really have a counter to you apart from the small, you know, the small time where they played the McCree? It wasn't that that won them the, yeah. the point anyway, was it? Um, it's But it's also about only having one other healer, okay? You've only got an Anna to heal the rest of your team because, of course, the, me uh, the Mercy, the mercy, <laughs> the mercy uh, is tethered to you the entire mm. time, yeah. okay? So you're not giving a lot of resources to the rest of the team. It no. is a lot on your back. So huge expectations there for ATAR, and unfortunately he doesn't live up to them.
And there were points there because everyone was targeting Goobs. Half the time, I felt like Goobs was actually getting healed by Mercy, even though yep. playing Ana, and it's it's a difficult situation yeah, and to be in, isn't it, really? I, I feel like this is a meta that just really, honestly, mm. does not suit Ata. I mean, everyone knows him as a star, of course. You know, uh, had great moments of the World Cup and, and that kind of thing in the past. You know, played for Blank overseas in the OPC and, and, and Pacific contenders. Mm. But he's not a great Zarya player and he's not a great Farah player, in my opinion. I mean, he excels on Hitscan, he excels on Genji. Um, but at the moment, I think, where he's, uh, you know, it looks like Atletico probably aren't putting as much time into this game as a lot of these other teams. Um, yeah. He's not picking up these, uh, these new compositions and the heroes that he needs to slot into them quite as well. Meta changes can be tough, Genome, but at the end of the day, if one team is adapting better than the other, they're probably going to come out on top. It is half time in our last match of the week. We're going to take a very quick break, but when we come back, it'll be more Overwatch. We'll see you soon.